I'm Michael Phoenix here, founder of, of A Valley and Beyond, and welcome to the first of a two-part article on the best places and the best time to have an event <coughs> here in the Lehigh Valley. Part one will focus on the best places and the best locations to have any event. Uh, recently, this year so far, I've been kicking around the idea of possibly doing something, having the magazine do something, and in Allentown, Bethlehem, and Easton, where the best location would be to draw the biggest, most amount of people. Um, part one will focus on the places. Part two will focus on the best time of the year for it. Now you may notice some contradictions here, but I will also explain them. Um, I'm going to start off with Easton. Start off on the east end of Lehigh Valley and work my way west. Easton. If you are going to have an event, and even honestly, if, if you want, if you're going in Easton, whether you live there or visiting, um, and you want to know one of the main places that's to go to do something from the Circle, which is Northampton and Third Street, down to the Delaware River and the bridge in Phillipsburg. Reason why this is the best place to have an event. In the, in the city. The amount of foot traffic and the amount of people that you could draw to that event who would not even know about it. Obviously, everybody had, you know, every event organizer, everyone who goes to an event, you promote it, you market it, etc., etc., etc. But I have been, even Black Friday, 2013 covering the Eastern Peace candle lighting um, there were people there that didn't even may not have even known about it that were just visiting the city visiting relatives etc so now the reason why is because the circle like I said it draws it's bam you have all the businesses all the restaurants around there um, so people live in the area, people that might be visiting and going to a specific business or rest or re restaurant or bar, all of a sudden, hey, wow, this is, wow, this is going on, I didn't even know about it. Um, the river, down by the Delaware, Larry Holmes Drive, it is gorgeous down there. The main factor involved here is there is an amphitheater there, which is, I've seen, uh, during Easton's Heritage Day, I uh, caught some bands there. There's a smaller stage there also. Um, a lot of space where, you, where you're not can really condensed, you can spread the event out a little bit. Um, so that's that's best place in Easton. Moving west, <clears throat> Bethlehem, I would have to say, I would have to re highly recommend the Main Street area, Main Street area, Sunday Courtyard for your event. Any anywhere, anywhere near there is perfect. Reason during this, during you know, especially during the warmer weather, um, there's always something going on there. Even on a Sunday, if there's nothing happening, you there's still people walking down, walking around Main Street, checking out the shops sitting outside just in general the amount again the amount of foot traffic and the amount of people that you can draw to your event who may not have known about it is very high and the chance of drawing these people to your event is very high perfect perfect example of this from my own experience in the magazine's own experience 2013 i attended harvest fest in october i believe I think it was October. <laughs> um, Sunny Courtyard. They have a state, a small stage there for bands, and they also have things going on, outdoor concerts all summer long. But <clears throat> Sunny Courtyard. Okay. I was at Harvest Fest. It was right Main Street was closed off. Walked right down Main Street. All of a sudden, I hear an original, original music, and I hear a band playing. I'm like, huh? Never heard of this. Never, never heard of this before. So, walk over, check it out. Well, the beautiful distortion. Well, they have all the original band was on stage. And 
I was like, damn, they're good, you know? So even from my own experience, that something I didn't know about. The event was happening, band was playing, guess what? I found a new band in the area. Allentown, moving farther west to the last city, to the last city, major city in the area. Believe it or not, one of your best, your probably your best bet is the Allentown Fairgrounds. <laughs> Honestly, it, to the best of my knowledge, it is basically outside the farmers market. There's really nothing going on in there. They really don't have a lot of events there, other than what other Mayfair has recently moved over there in 2013 from Cedar Beach. But during the summer, it's underutilized. Um, the advantage to this is even though you don't get the foot traffic on Hamilton Street, which right now, honestly, Hamilton Street is last year. I know I went there and like, especially on a Sunday, it's almost like a ghost town there. Um, compared to, especially compared to Bethlehem and Easton. Um, advantages to, advantages to the fairgrounds. Number one, large area. The fairgrounds actually encompasses a fairly large uh it's you can spread your event out if you feel if you have to number two you have the main gate nightclub right there main gate has an indoor and an outdoor stage and dance area and bars um now here i'm speaking for especially the warmer weather which i'll get to that in part two but overall and this is just you know having a business having a magazine and if I would seriously consider having an event, these are, in my opinion, the, the three best places in the entire area, locations in the entire area to have an event. Now, if you are looking to go into the small, you know, if you don't really want to do the city thing, you want to go to the small towns, I know every town has, like Copley, they have the park, which is Chestnut, which is on 2nd Street, right next to the Giant. And they... Each town has a small has uh, parks that they do events at, and different areas in their in their little in their towns that they have events, which is great if you want to, if you're either looking to draw the attention to the smaller towns or if you want a different type of crowd. Um, Emmaus, they have a community park and Triangle, uh, which I've been to recently. Great area for an event. So. Part two will cover the best time of year, which here you we're really going to get into the contradiction. Because the best time of year is also the one of the worst the second worst time of the year to have an event in the area. But I'll tell you the advantages in part two. As always, thanks for checking out this article. Uh, make sure you check out everything Danny, Megan, and Carrie are doing with the magazine. And thanks for supporting and checking out the Ma Valley and Beyond. Be safe. Be safe, not only in this crazy winter in the Northeast, but throughout the year. Take care.